Russia's permanent representative to the UN has voiced his concern over a recent escalation of the conflict in eastern Ukraine. Vitaly Cherkin spoke exclusively to RT. Those who are provoking those uh, manifestations of violence in, in uh, eastern Ukraine, uh, this may be one of their goals. To make sure, because they don't want the relations between Russia and the United States to improve, to make sure that there are additional obstacles for that, for the, for that improvement to happen. And of course, the, the crisis in Ukraine is one of the uh, things uh, which need to be overcome uh, for uh, the potential of uh, uh, Russia-U.S. cooperation really to be uh, fully, uh, fully utilized. Uh. Well, the conflict between Ukraine's army and pro-independence forces has been ongoing for almost three years now. Last week, the Russian foreign ministry accused Ukrainian forces of shelling residential areas, killing more than 30 civilians. Soon after, President Trump spoke to President Poroshenko of Ukraine and pledged his support in restoring peace to the region. With more on all that, here's Alexei Yarshevsky. Trump recently said himself that there's no adequate information for them to make a conclusion. And despite that, Nikki Haley, the new colleague of Vitaly Churkin within the United Nations Security Council, started off her uh, tenure with a uh, sharp criticism of Russia's actions. He says that this is not something completely unexpected, and they still had a very positive conversation with her afterwards on Ukraine and many other issues. And this is not something that could scupper what could be a very good relationship, as Churkin believes, between Washington and Moscow now with the new. US administration. One very interesting issue which is now making a lot of noise here in the United States is how exactly the, uh, the rhetoric against Iran coming from the Trump administration can hamper the potential uh, detente or reset of ties between Moscow and Washington. I mean it's hardly a secret to anyone that Russia and Iran have been close partners and there's been some uh, rather hostile rhetoric coming from the Washington uh, administration recently about Iran especially after the ballistic missile test. Trump himself this week said that uh, Iran was terrorist state number one. So I asked Ambassador Shurkin how Iran could potentially play into the triangle of relations between Iran, U.S. and Russia. Uh, this uh, hue and cry about uh, Iranian missile uh, launches, you know, ballistic missile launches, I was surprised actually to hear even American experts speaking on like CNN uh, describing the situation about uh, ballistic missile launches, they're saying, well, this is a violation of bans by UN Security Council. Those bans were there before. All those bans were lifted when the arrangements on the nuclear, uh, you know, nuclear problem, Iranian nuclear problem were, were, were reached. And uh, in uh, international life, of course, you have to um, differentiate between your emotions, what you want to see, uh, but also and what, what you are really sort of has, has the right to expect from another country. So you've heard it yourself, uh, the notion by Churkin that uh, there should be no emotions in diplomacy. This is something that he hopes for, and he told me that that Moscow is not expecting any miracles to happen at least in any time soon in the relations between the U.S. and uh, Russia. But I guess we'll see more uh, by the time when Tillerson and Lavrov have their first meeting. Coming up here on RT International, going underground with host Afshin Ritanzi. But if you're watching us in the U.K. or Ireland, it's the untold story of those who've suffered under the brutal campaigns of Uganda's long-running president.